Curtin was the iconic frontman of a 90s rock band. Reserved and introverted, yet in your face about what he was saying. And that was the 90s personified. You know, if you want to pick a symbol, you know, what Generation X was, that symbol is going to be Kurt Cobain, and that song is going to be Smells Like Teen Spirit. Kurt Donald Cobain was born on February 20th, 1967, in Aberdeen, Washington, to Donald, an auto mechanic, and his wife, Wendy Cobain. At age eight, Kurt's happy childhood came to an end, with his parents' divorce and their subsequent remarriages. It started, like, not doing very well in school. Um, he started, you know, smoking weed and just, like, skipping classes. But then Kurt received a guitar for his 14th birthday. The guitar immediately provided him with an outlet for these feelings that he wasn't able to express otherwise. In high school, punk rock became Kurt's all-consuming passion, impelling him to leave school and live with a string of friends. One such friend was bassist Chris Novoselic. Chris wanted to start a band. Kurt wanted to start a band, and the timing was right. It just fit. In 1987, they started playing together and eventually dubbed themselves Nirvana. The indie label Sub Pop signed the young band. In 1989, Nirvana released its first album, Bleach. During Nirvana's first European tour, Cobain experienced a mental breakdown while on stage. Upon finishing the tour, Cobain returned to Washington and began using heroin. In 1991, Nirvana secured Dave Grohl as its new drummer and signed with the major record label DGC. That September, the band released its second album, Nevermind, which included the hit single, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Teen Spirit exploded so big and so fast that it just came from all sides. It was on the radio everywhere, and it just seemed to come on like a tidal wave. In the meantime, Kurt began a whirlwind relationship with Courtney Love, a singer in the punk rock band Hole. They were two people that had drug problems, two artists, two people with terrible childhoods and psychological issues, and it was a tempestuous up and down relationship, but he was crazy about her. In December of 1991, the two got engaged. After learning that Courtney was pregnant, they married in Hawaii in February of 1992. Their daughter, Frances Bean Cobain, was born in August. After a Vanity Fair article claimed that Courtney was using drugs while pregnant, social services stepped in, and it was seven months before the couple regained full custody of their child. In 1994, while promoting Nirvana's third album, In Utero, Cobain attempted suicide. This time he had taken like 50 or 60 uh, rehypnol pills and he had like a three-page suicide note, so it was pretty clear right away that this was a very different situation. Kurt was actually in a coma for 20 hours. A revived Cobain returned home to Seattle, where despite his near-death experience, he continued using drugs. Concerned, his close friends held an intervention. Cobain eventually entered a rehabilitation facility, but ran away after only two days. On April 8, 1994, Cobain was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound in his Lake Washington home. A suicide note and wallet lay near Cobain's body. He left behind amazing music. He transformed forever the idea of what rock and roll could be. Uh, he's considered rightfully one of the great artists that the genre produced. As the reluctant icon of Generation X, Kurt Cobain revolutionized rock. His troubled music endures. <laughs>